hands whenever you're performing push-ups. You don't want your hands out to the side like this. You want your wrist and your hands facing forward. And you also... For those of you who don't know me, my name is Magda Civil, fitness expert, and today I just want to touch on some things that people have questions on pertaining to losing weight and reaching a fitness goal. For the most part, I, have, I get questions like, how do I lose like the bra bulge, or how do I lose the face and my fat? I mean, how do I lose my face and my fat? How do I lose the fat in my face? Or, you know, how do I slim my thighs down? How do I slim my arms down? Every question that I mostly get, or how do I lose the fat in my stomach? Most of the questions that I receive is pertaining to fat reduction in certain areas of the body. Realistically, we can't spot reduce. Spot reduce means that you're selecting a certain area of the body to lose body fat, and our bodies don't work that way. It's just, it's like, if you're telling me, hey Magda, I just wanna lose the fat in my arms, and I don't wanna to have to, you know, work out, I don't wanna eat clean, I just wanna lose the fat there. It's like, realistically, you didn't want to just gain the fat there in the first place, so how did you, like, body is gaining fat, it evenly distributes the fat throughout our bodies. Nobody wants the fat in their face, nobody wants fat in their arms, nobody wants fat in their stomach, but it happens because that's how our bodies just distribute the fat. So we just have to be mindful in order for us to lose body fat, if it's in our face, our arms, our back, our legs, wherever it may be, it's important for us to do total body workouts, incorporate anaerobic activity, means resistant training, being consistent all together, eating high quality foods that's going to help to benefit, to nourish your body. So you can use that nourishment so you can recover. And we want to make sure that we're getting enough sleep because that's going to help to rejuvenate our cells and to help us to recover all together. So those components that I just listed all together is going to help you to lower your face fat, lower the arms fat, the fat behind your arms, your stomach, hips, butt, wherever the fat may be. Please, there's no shortcuts when it comes to reaching your fitness goal. It's all about being consistent. For most of you, like, at some point you're gonna fall in love with the journey it's gonna be difficult at the beginning you're gonna feel overwhelmed because there's so much stuff that you need to know so much stuff you need to learn even after years of, of six plus years of this of being in this field I'm still learning and that's what life is about it's about learning and growing but the more you learn the better you become and it becomes so much easier so don't stretch yourself out with trying to learn everything all at once start little you have to start by cutting out soda or sugary drinks start by doing that um, if you want to start by removing processed breakfast like you have your cereal the actual cereal that's in the package start by doing that taking little steps if you normally take again six cups of juices a day make it five make it four incorporate some lemon water or lime water in between to help you make that transition and to just drink it solely water so we just stop making excuses you guys because it's imperative that we build our immune system it's imperative that we eat high quality foods this stuff is going to help to nourish our bodies to make us stronger and when i go back to say fitness goals all of us want to reach a fitness goal right it's all about being healthy if you're a healthier individual that's all that matters you know when you're when you're making health conscious choices your body is just going to slowly make that transition into looking leaner um, this may be different for for some because some people are genetically built bigger than others but as long as you're healthy and you're making health conscious choices, that is key to being a better version of yourself. When it comes to spot reduction, it's about overall fat loss. Can't target a specific area to lose weight. And how do we do that again? We want to make sure that we're being consistent with nutrition, eating quality, healthy foods. We want to make sure that we're exercising getting at least 30 minutes to an hour of exercise at least three to five days out of the week we want to make sure that we're taking in water if it's hard for you to take in water add some lime add some lemon in there 
minimize your sugary drinks, and most importantly, over all of this stuff, if you're not getting enough rest, it's going to be hard for you to see your result. Okay, so before I begin showing you each exercise, take your time. I, I, I've been doing this for years, so I make it look a lot easier. And also, you don't have to go the same speed that I'm going. You can uh, usually go at your own pace. Use the modified versions of what I'm doing right now. So if I'm gonna show you a burpee, all right, instead of pushing up from a burpee, you can just do a plank, step in both your legs, and then um, stand up instead of hopping up. So I'll show you modified versions of that as well. Take your time. This is not a competition, you guys. You're competing with yourself, not with me. I'm just here to help you, teach you. Lunge, we wanna make sure that our knees don't go or our toes. This, going to, this is going to prevent any injury later on in the future. Proper form is key. Here she come. She stepped right in the frame, all right? So we wanna make sure that our back knee is behind us, 90 degree angle here. This doesn't go extremely over. You don't wanna do a lunge like this. Hi, mama. You don't wanna do a lunge when your knee go over your toe like that. You wanna make sure that we're at a 90 degree angle, back knee comes down, knee is not over the toe line, and come back up. Modified version of this burpee will be, into that squat position, step both legs back, stay into that plank, step both legs in together. You can either come into a tippy toe to incorporate your calves, or leave it alone and repeat that movement. This is going to bring the heart rate up. This is anaerobic activity, which is also incorporating your muscles. Right, two lunges, come down. Okay, another way to burn fat is by incorporating some bench training. We have a bench here, so many things that we can do. We can do step ups, and if it's too high, you can use a lower platform and not use something so high. So instead of using this, you can use the steps. Just, if you have a problem with balance, you'll have to hold on to the railing of the steps to step up. But somebody like me, step up. You can just stop here. Have your feet, both feet together, instead of coming up, as I'm gonna show you now, which is more advanced. Come up, balance, bring that knee in. It's going to also incorporate your abs, your core. So, this is me catching my balance. Sometimes I get off balance too at the same time, but I really do try to challenge my core and just come in and bring that knee up. So I would do 10 reps per leg, about three sets. And then between that, continue 10 reps, two, three, you can go as fast or as slow to control. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. It's all about controlling that balance your mental needs to be involved as well. Then between that, take a deep breath. Inhale, exhale, right here. Go with incline push-ups. Notice how I bring my elbows in and not out. More so focusing on the back of the arm instead of bringing my hands or my palms too wide. We don't want our hands, whenever you're performing push-ups, you don't want your hands out to the side like this. You want your wrist and your hands facing forward. And you also don't want your arms too wide. You don't want it wider than shoulder width. You wanna come in. Control it. And don't lock at the top. 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And for those of you who find that challenging, using a higher bar makes it a lot easier to practice that push-up. The higher it is, the easier it is. The lower it gets, the more challenging it is. And then go back in, step up. Great way to incorporate cardio, cardiovascular activity at the same time, building muscle and getting straight to that fat. What happened? She know. <laughs> she likes. Oh my gosh, Paige. Where you going, Mama? Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like. Just comment below. Let us know what you learned. Thank you so much for your support. Max on the belts. The link is going to be in the description below for those of you who have uh, who are interested in purchasing the Max on the belts. That's going to be in the description below. Again, thank you so much. And I'll see you next time. Take care.